So my buddy Will, cool guy, uh, hopefully we'll do some riding with him this year. He's super into building like old uh, dirt bikes and stuff. It's super, I was just at his shop, which he gave me these. So he had these shocks that he wasn't using. He's like, hey, they might work. And they are shorter than the stock ones. So um, quite a bit shorter. So we're going to see if these will fit in there um, because, yeah, it'd be... If, they're cool shocks. So yeah, we're gonna throw these in, see how they look. Now it's time for building. Anybody else's kids like this? All right, this is what they are gonna look like on, which is pretty awesome. A little longer than I was hoping, but uh, you know what? These are sweet. Looks so rad. <laughs> Looks like a real race unit with those on. All right, so I got this one on. Um, I haven't tightened it up, but I did come in this. This is a lot thinner than this. So what I did on that side is I, oops. What I did on the other side was I pressed this out and then took out this bushing and then put it in here because they're the same diameter. So I'm gonna use this bushing in here. I'm gonna press it out just on the press, um, and I'll kind of show you as I do that. Okay, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna press out this, uh, the whole bushing and rubber and everything. So then, um, then I can press out the bushing out of the center. So we're gonna start with that. I have a hole drilled in the middle here, just cause these, these probably should just push out, uh, but they're so old, they're just kinda, and they probably overheated and melted to it. So I'm, I just have, I set the, bushing in there and then I just press it through and yeah it worked really all right on the others so go ahead and do that now I I got these out and I probably could have just cut them out because I'm not gonna use these rubbers or shocks again um but uh so I got these out now I just got to get these out which they come out a lot easier because they're newer and then um that one didn't last one didn't come out great but uh, yeah, so swap those out and I'll show you that. These are out. So now I'm gonna take this bushing out and replace it with these and uh, put the shock in. Yeah, the new bushing's in. So now I'm gonna put it in. Maybe we'll throw the skis on. Check it out. All right, shocks are on. Let me get this out of the way. I don't know. It's kind of hard to see them in there because they're tucked up in, but it looks pretty sweet. I wonder if that's going to hit and that compresses. Uh, we'll find out. It shouldn't be much compression if it does hit, but the, it looks pretty sweet. All right, so we're getting closer. I do, we are working on Nick's sled in a couple days, so you'll see that video later, but I will. I will need to move this, but... So I, I might throw the skis on, back on. It's just been nice walking around it without the skis on. Because uh, I don't have to walk out as far. Kind of lazy, but kind of handy at the same time. I, yeah. So I don't think I'm going to get shorty skis right away. Uh, but yeah, so, so far, man, I think the biggest next biggest thing is i got to cut this track down. Um, also... I want to work on this clutch and I had an idea for that. So maybe we'll do that now. Okay. <laughs> Remember how bad the clutch was? Um, I put it in the drill. I put a piece of all thread through it, put it in the drill, drilled. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> that wasn't expected. Drilled a hole in there, put this in as you just saw and pulled the trigger and started spinning the clutch. And then, I used some sandpaper and some steel or uh, scotch bright, and I just kind of sanded it. And now it's actually not too bad. Um, I mean, I keep going a little more, but uh, I think this is gonna get us to where we need to be. Okay, so there's a bolt. Um, man, they look way better now. They're a lot smoother. I think I'm gonna try to run it, so. 
pretty exciting. Next thing on the list is cutting off these lugs. So we'll get started on that, making a jig, and then trying out a bunch of different techniques, probably like, I don't know, saws off first, if that doesn't go great, knife, that doesn't go great, hot knife, that doesn't go great, grinder, if that doesn't go great, crying. Got the jig kind of made here, kind of not, it's made. Um, if it's on, then I'll hold it and cut off that top part. So try the saws out first and uh, go from there. The jig's on, it doesn't work great for the middle ones, but I've been using it to mark and then just cut with the sawzall. So these outside ones are getting pretty good. The inside ones are kind of not as good. <laughs> Um, so I've been just clamping it on with this and then cutting it with the sawzall on that cuts. It cuts it really easy, but uh, I might need to rethink how to do these inside ones a little flatter. Maybe I should just hold the bar up to it. Yeah, I'll try that on the next one. So this is the best way I found them a little over halfway. Probably, um, I put the notched in here, uh, clamp it on and then cut it off. Uh, and then for the next one, I'll show you. I mean, I cut this one. I'll show you for the next one. So the bracket I made doesn't fit because uh, the the rod um, over this one. So I clamp it here and I cut it off here. I tried doing this for all of them uh, instead of just on the, these middle ones, but it I couldn't. Um, I was getting really odd cuts. It wasn't, they weren't good cuts. So um, like these ones with the bracket, they're a better cut, I think. So that's kind of what I'm doing for this is I cut the middle ones like this and then the outside ones. And uh, you know, it's going pretty good. Almost done, I'll show you when I'm done. Track is cut. There's all the stuff from that. There's all those. 119 120 <laughs> so yeah that is done that was because of the magic of tv that didn't take very long but that took forever <laughs> but the, the little jig i had actually turned out to be i think pretty nice you could just mark them and cut them but maybe there's a better way to cut them but the sawzall went real fast through them and uh worked well so now I gotta look and see what else I gotta do. Uh, otherwise this video is gonna be real short. All right, put oil in the oil tank. There it is. Um, so that's gonna drain down into the water pump gear. So it's gonna go down in there. Um, I did have to take the pipe out to get, I had I put another little hose on here, down here. Uh, Cause there was like an overflow thing. Uh, so I blocked that off. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm gonna kind of figure out what to do next. I'm kind of at the end, I need to, we're almost done. I just need to put the uh, clutch cover back on, seal that off, um, and then I need to do some work on the hood. Uh, so I need to do some research on getting frog skins for that. And then probably about it for this sled being, and then we're just ready to go out. Well, I, oh, I do need to put the straps on to hold the water flat, the snow flat. Uh, I gotta see how, I gotta figure out how long to do those. So I'll probably do that here. And then um, hmm, just looking at my list here, I think that's about it. So anyways, if this is the end of the video, thanks for sticking around. I really appreciate everybody watching and I'm having fun. I hope you're having fun watching. Um, we're gonna do some builds on some that. Wait, whoop. Nick sled soon. I'm not sure where you're, where, where you'll see that in this, but we're going to be working on that. Also, we're going to be, I mean, just take a look at this. You'll see, uh, I've, you can see Tony sled's got a bunch of boxes sitting on it. So we're going to do some builds on that. And, um, you know, maybe I'll do some silly things with that sled. So we'll, um, be catching up with you guys soon.